Hi everyone, Matt Carver here. Today I'm going to show you some tools that I recently bought from Bear Wood and the tools that I've been eagerly awaiting arrival um, are the cut saw burrs. And I bought all that Bear Wood supplied and they are the 1 8 inch shanks that fit perfectly into my Marathon micro motor. So let me bring you down to the bench and show you what I've got. All right, so I've got them laid out here for you. And I bought a total of 21 pieces. And I also got the swag kit, the water bottle, the bottle opener, and this handy tape measure from their Bear Woods um, swag kit, pencil too. So, all right, now we have here the separation of what cuts all manufacturers sold by bearwood.com now we have the finest that cuts all creates meaning the fine grit and then we have a medium grit and then we have a super coarse grit and they're basically called original fine original coarse and original uh, pardon me, extreme, very coarse. And they're colored. So this is gold at fine, silver at medium, and black at very coarse. So let's go over the very coarse first. They're right here in front. You'll see here that I have a long piece that has a ball nose on top. And it's really quite <laughs> nice. Ingenious too. Very long, allow you to get into really tucked away places and get the entire area. That looks fun. Here's a ball. Very nice. Super useful. Everybody needs one of those. Pardon me. Here's another long one, but with a tip. Pointy tip. Very nice. Again, the blacks are all super coarse. Here's a fine one. Uh, not a fine one, but a good one that's uh, flared and round as well. Very useful. Here's more of a cylinder, and it's good. It's about a half inch. It's very nice. Use that one. Here's a cone. Very nice. Useful. Super coarse. And then here's a ball nose cylinder. Very nice. So there's uh, seven of those. Super ones. These are all black. Very coarse. So we'll just move those aside real quick. Cool. Now here we have the medium ones, which are the original coarse. And we have a uh, tapered one here. That's just one level down from the black. Nice. And a lot of them are the same as the ones you just saw. Just middle, medium grade. Here's a smaller one than the ball that we saw earlier. So I have a large ball and a smaller ball. Very nice. Very useful, these guys. You've seen this one as well. Very nice. Another cone. Here's a cylinder with a ball nose on top. Here's another flared one. And then another cylinder, but this one it has a square top. Okay, so there's those. And then we have then we have the fine, which are here. And you've seen all these shapes already, but these are fine. Gold. Another ball. Tape uh, dovetail, very nice. Flared, beautiful. And then a cylinder. Okay, fantastic. So we have the fine at the middle, and we have the super coarse gold, silver, black. 
Now let's go ahead and try it on a current project. Okay, current project I'm working on now is one I'm calling Gambler. And basically has three characters and it's a fantasy setting. And what I need to do now is carve out a bunch of material inside this cloak region here. So I think what I would like to do is use a ball to start. I just love the idea of using this guy. And you should note that it says uh, maximum RPMs is 25,000. So don't exceed that, okay? So let's try this out. Wonderful. It's got some heft to it. Very nice. It's short, which is good because if you accidentally put the um, tool in too long with too much of it sticking out, it tends to, or at least on cheaper tools, it tends to um, bend the tool. So at this point, put that in, tighten it back up. Can't get out, it's locked in. And we'll just turn it on a bit. It's nice. We'll just start out slow a bit. And get in here and see what we can find. Wow. Okay. That is fantastic. Okay. I'm really very happy with that. This ball took out a great deal of material with so little work. Fantastic. It's really great. It took out a great circular shape out there. I have a lot more to do, but I don't want to just take off a bunch of material, although I really do because the tools are cool. So let's check out another um, another one of these super coarse ones. Let's try this long cylindrical one. See what it does for us. Again, the micro motor is just super simple. Pop it in and out. Good to go. Very nice. Again, it's super coarse. So be careful, it just gets that material off. That is another awesome tool that really takes off material. Really well made, strong shank, fits in the micro motor. Fantastic. Really like these coarse ones. All right, so we looked at a couple extreme, very coarse ones. Let's look at a couple middle ground ones, which are. I don't know. Let's try these guys. Let's try one of these. One of these. All right, so we'll take this guy out. This is a dovetail. We'll try it out on the micro motor. Easy in, easy hold. Very cool. Let's find a place to use this. All right, so we can use it over here. We've got some extra junk to deal with here. Start it out low. Let's see what it looks like. Probably need a few more RPMs. Very fast. Makes very quick work of that. short work 
really short work of an entire corner edge. Wow. I really, I really respect these tools. Okay, let's try this one. Right, so this one is a big long cylinder. And we'll try it out. Again, love this quick release, quick load. It's wonderful. All right, let's look for another spot. Okay. Um, getting down to detail soon, so I gotta be careful. All right, we can go over here again. that material so quickly um, left it with a less coarse surface than the extreme very coarse one so that's a nice grit I like that all right so let's go to our last one which is the finest one the finest grit that cuts all makes let's try this tool here. All right, let's try that out. It's right in. Put it up a little high. Let's check it out and see what we get out of that. Okay, so that one leaves um, a better um, a better sand grit on the surface of the wood than the previous ones did because those were coarse and this one's fine. However, you can tell that if you were to press hard, it would just rip all that wood off. It would take it off very fast and it would allow you to just get right through this block. So it's really... The finest one, you know, the finest grit one, but it's still, um, it's still a workhorse. It's going to pull material off. So be careful with that. This one, very, very coarse. It will just, before you know it, it'll remove more material than you intended if you're not careful. Fantastic. It's just great. Uh, when you really just need to rough it out and get it uh, shaped. Fantastic. This one is pretty close to the black one, but not as much. It takes a little more effort, a little more pressure to take off the same amount of material but it's not made to take off that much so you just use a little less effort 
and it sends it down to about a medium coarse grade. It's very good too, wonderful. And then this one gives you a little finer um, sanding cut. It's really nice, um, but it can get away from you too. So if you put too much pressure on it, it'll just go through the wood. It's certainly faster than any sanding I've ever done before. And um, it's easy to maneuver as well. So um, you can lightly touch the wood. It doesn't just grip and run. Um, it does sand nicely. It allows you to use your own um, pressure on the tool to uh, take off light amounts of wood. So very good. Overall, I'm very happy with all of these tools. So I have tried the fine, coarse, and very coarse, and those correspond to the colors gold, silver, and black. And I've tried all of those in the 1 8 inch shank that Bear Woods supplies. And there are a total of 21 of those burrs. I have them all, and I've tried two out of each set and they're fantastic. They really remove material and um, the black ones can really remove material. So uh, be careful with how much pressure you put into your project because it'll just take it off and take it off and before you know it, you may have removed too much. And the silver one, which is the middle ground, the coarse, um, it also removes material too. It leaves a finer finish because it's not as coarse and um, it's fantastic. So the gold one, which is fine, it removes uh, just as well as all the others and um, it leaves an even finer finish because it's fine. So the tools themselves are just fantastic. I think that they're very well priced at Bear Woods. So um, I suggest you guys get some of your own and um, try them out because uh, I'm gonna be using these a lot and uh, I'll probably be using them in every one of my live feeds as well for bear woods so check them out